in this very brief talk I will try to give you a very general overview of what is one of the interests in my group, that is uh, how information is managed in the immune system. And I would like to make a very simple observation that in the world we live in, everything uh, changes all the time. And living cells, every living cell on this planet had to adapt to this potentially uh, unconvenient circumstances. And every cell does this pretty well because they develop information processing mechanisms. So they can sense the environment, they can transmit the environment, and then they can decide what is the best adaptation step. And we observe how this is working on a daily basis, when we sweat or when iris in our eyes shrinks in the excess of light. In some subsystems, however, uh, functioning of this mechanism is crucial for survival. And one of the examples is, in the, is the immune system. If things go wrong here on, in, in this communication pattern, either the battle against invader is lost or we have inflammation which can be equally harmful. Therefore, communication in the battlefield, in this case cytokine, cytokine communication, seems to be crucial. And another argument that communication in the battlefield is crucial is the fact that mathematical theory of communication was actually developed in the battlefield. It was developed in the World War II by cryptographer uh, Claude Shannon, and he defined what is the communication channel and what is information in the mathematical terms. And he also described when information is coded and encoded efficiently. And in my group, we use this theory to understand how, uh, how information about cytokine levels is transmitted to the level of transcription factor in the nucleus. And the type of questions we can address with this theory is, for example, how many different levels of cytokine can a cell distinguish? Is the world of a cell black and white? Can it distinguish between uh, absence or presence of a cytokine? Or it can see various uh, levels of gray? That's one question. The other questions we can address is, for example, what are the sensitization or desensitization mechanisms? What makes a cell from going from completely blind state to a very sensitive state? And the pathways we examine using this theory is mainly the JAKSTAT pathway uh, with interferon signaling. We want to understand here um, the crosstalk between interferon gamma and interferon beta. And we also study the NF-kappa-B pathway with uh, TNF stimulation. And we want to understand what are the temporal uh, sensitization and desensitization mechanisms. And to summarize this very short talk, uh, the information theory was developed to study complex and then encrypted uh, communication processes and cytokine signaling uh, seems to be very well described using this theory. And these are people I'm having fun working with and the funding bodies that support our work. Thank you for your attention.